We're chilling. We're chilling with Rick. He's gonna get to the story quick. Yeah, we're chilling. Yes, we're chilling with Rick. Chilling with Rick, everybody. All right, let's get to the sponsors. Upscale Exotics, reptile-only specialty store that carries exotic reptiles looking for homes. They have snakes, lizards, geckos, turtles, chameleons, tarantulas, and more. It's the store of the creepy critters. <laughs> With all the supplies, enclosures, and food, it's your one-stop shop, and they have knowledgeable staff located at 145 West Seneca Street in Sherrill, 315-367-5002. Games People Play, formerly Mind Games. It's a game store with so much more. They've been in business for 28 years. They have Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic the Gathering. Dungeons and Dragons and also sports cards. They also have retro video games and board games. Weekly events held in store and a knowledgeable staff located at 114 Madison Street in Oneida. 315-363-2448. Whitestown Automotive. Quality repairs at a good price. Just up the Thruway Bridge in Westmoreland. Boogie Dad's Music. Working on producing and distributing music on all platforms. And great royalty kickbacks for all performers. Oneida Carpets. Oneida Carpets, family owned and operated by Scott and Lynn White. They're both installers. They install carpet, laminate, vinyl, luxury vinyl, plank flooring, and ceramic tile. All of your flooring needs in one store. They're located at 174 Madison Street in Oneida, 315-361-9800. Big Girl Stump Removal. Do you have a stump that needs to be removed? I'm talking about a tree stump. <laughs> uh, then call up Big Earl. He's a great guy with very fair prices and he'll grind the stump right down to the roots. Give him a call at 315-363-5217. Papa Top. That place out there is just like Florida. It's a tropical paradise out there on that big old deck. Uh, they have obviously the outdoor deck, Adirondack chairs, picnic tables, bar stools, Grab some friends and go listen to some live music at Papa Top. Frog's Bar. Outdoor bar, picnic tables, Adirondack chairs, two fire pits for when fall comes. Uh, the owner, Mary, is phenomenal. She's a friend of mine. She wears the chill and zip up proudly. <laughs> and there's live music there all summer. Oneida Kellett Civic Center. Upcoming events include NU Wrestling on May 27th. I'll be at that. Absolute Adele, an Adele tribute show, coming October 22nd at 3 p.m. Get your tickets for that, oneidacallet.com. Also coming on Saturday, February 24th, 2024, is Appetite for Voltage, a Guns N' Roses ACDC tribute band. Get your tickets at oneidacallet.com. All right, on to my next guest. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Chillin' with Rick, the first episode inside, with a uh, fabulous guitarist from 169 Rhythm Section, Kyle Snyder. Thank you. How you doing? How are you, brother? Good. How's it feel to be uh, kind of the guinea pig? I like it. I like it. Yeah, I don't like the outside, so I'm glad. <laughs> oh, you don't, I don't like the outside? Thing. It's all right. Yeah. I mean, not when it's sunny. When it's like this, I like it when it's nice and rainy. It's yeah. kind of my, my weather, but... Yeah. Now, in post-production, my sign's going to be here. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I see. So, oh, there's a cat. Oh, that's ghosty. Yes. <laughs> okay. There's going to be plenty of bloopers in this, guys, I'm sure. Yeah. I have uh, three cats, and they're all wondering what I'm doing, so they might pop in and say hi. I love cats. Yeah. <laughs> you love cats? I do love cats. This is a perfect insight interview, it then, is, man. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like to always start from the beginning. Yeah. Where were you born and raised? I was born and raised in Canastota, okay. New York. I was actually born in Syracuse okay. Hospital, but... yeah. Raised in Canastota. You were 12, my right? My whole life. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. I have to be me, man. No, it's good. Go ahead. Good. I'm sorry, brother. Um, yeah, no, I was raised in Canastota my whole life. I've never moved. I've always been there. Canastota kid. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Canastota High School. Yeah? Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, I know, right? Valedictorian, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Close. 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 You're a smart dude. 
Now, I got to tell the story of when I first met you. Yeah. Uh, you were down playing at Frog's Bar. I think it was your first gig mm. down there. I walked in, you're like, wow, you're chilling with Rick. Yeah, I, I, like, I knew who you were. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I knew who you were from a couple of times. I used to, oh, I saw your videos sometimes, and I was like, oh, it's the dude from, from the dude who does the videos. I'm like, awesome, cool. So, yeah. really, it's like talking to a legend. I'm not oh, wow. You know, so I'm talking, wow. this is your interview, Rick. Oh, yeah, <laughs> man. I'm no legend. Should brother. be I'm interviewing just, you. I'm just trying. No, that's good. <laughs> I appreciate Same. the love, man. It's good. It's all good. My brother. Yeah. <laughs> You're that guy's? I'm a legend. In my own mind. <laughs> now, Steve. See, I've been friends with Steve for years and years, mm -hmm. and uh, he's known me when I was just plain old Rick. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't chilling yet. I wasn't chilling yet. I was this close. Yeah. I was this close, brother. Yeah. I know uh, I was meant to be something. You know, I always used to yeah. try to post stupid stuff on Facebook just for attention. Oh, and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I was meant to do something, and I guess this is it. Well, Otherwise, I'm glad you found this. It's pretty yeah. cool. I, I like wish I would have found it earlier, but, you know. Yeah, you never know, you know. At least we're rolling in it now, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Never can predict when things happen. That's you know? right. Now, what age were you when you uh, picked up the guitar? I was about 10 years old. 10 years old. And my dad always had his guitar. That's where I got it, really, was from him. And he would, he'd play sometimes, but not all the time. And I was always, like, intrigued by it. And I'm like, can we, can we, like, can you play the guitar a little bit? You know, and I'd sit there. When I was like, you know, seven, eight or something like that. Yeah. And I would just watch him like noodle on it, kind of. And I was just always fascinated by it. Yeah. So um, then around the age of 10, uh, he was just like, yeah, if you want it, you can just do what you want with it. And I just kind of, he taught me a couple things, like what he used to know. He used to practice uh, Silent Lucidity by yeah. Queen Drake okay. all the time. Yeah. And that was a great song to start on. So I started on that, and then uh, you really got me by, I think it was the two, or um, the hell was the original? Oh, you're asking the wrong guy. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, anyway. Who cares? Um, but yeah, anyway, um, but he taught me that you really got me, and I was like, okay, cool. So I, I ran with that. I took those two, and then I, I just kind of did whatever. We had the internet um, was like just starting out kind of, you know, the old days. Of, yeah, 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 YouTube, you know, in like 2000s. <laughs> Um, so I had like limited stuff to go off of, so I'd use my ear yeah. to like kind of listen to like albums and stuff and kind of figure out where it was and, and play it. And then if I was really struggling, I'd look it up on YouTube, how to play yeah. so, so by whatever, and then watch See, someone fly through it and try to like, you know, figure out what they're doing. See, the old timers didn't have that luxury. Yeah, I know. You're the new it. timer. You had yeah, that luxury. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All these kids these days, man, they're going to have like so much at their disposal, all the wrong tabs. Yeah. They're going to have all the, you know, YouTube videos of people telling you how to do it correctly. Yeah. But I know, I, I like to take it by ear because, like, I feel, like, I, I, I watch them play it live if yeah. I can. I find a live video because yep. so you can watch where their hands are. Yeah. And then you can see how they play in it. And then you, you kind of use your ear at the same time. And then that's kind of, like, the most authentic way to play it, I think. Yeah. So I anytime I'm trying it. to learn a song, I look it up by, like, the live video. I agree with you, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm proud of you, by the way, man. Oh, thank you. I mean, you got brought in right into a top-notch band. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it, I was incredibly lucky to be uh, yeah. kind of just, you know, fell ass backwards into this band, you know, <laughs> kind of, you know, I just kind of, a, it's, I'm very grateful for that. Yeah. Now, how did they find you? Okay, so, uh, so. I actually don't know It's a story. funny story, <laughs> so it's good. So, um, I was working with um, Roy Costin's daughter, jazz yeah and um we got talking one day and i was like um we brought up the fact that her dad was a guitar player and i'm like oh your dad's a guitar player that's cool and i kind of i was kind of joking i was like well if he's looking for like you know if he's in a band he's looking for like a guitar player like you know hit me up or something like that you know <laughs> it's kind of a joke right and then she's kind of like no i will like i'll tell him about you i'm like you don't have to i was just always kidding and she did, and then Roy contacted 169, and just at the, the perfect time kind of was, because, like, um, Zach had just, this was about the last show he could do before yeah. he was going, um, took the first job, I think, he yeah. went down to Florida for yeah. a little bit. Um, so they were looking for, a, not a replacement, but someone to, like, fill him, fill him in, you know? Yeah. So at that right moment, they contacted Steve and was and Steve contacted me and 
we, that was it. Phone call later, I showed up at the place, and we just kind of started practicing, and that was it. Whitestown Automotive. Yeah, that's where it started. Yeah. I love you, Steve. I haven't talked to Steve in weeks. I've been so busy doing this. We usually talk a couple times a week in depth about stuff. I don't even know what you guys are doing. I know you're at the field days this week. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Field day, it's gonna be I fun. just shared it. That's the only reason why I know. Yeah, I know. No, but sometimes I don't even know Dude, what, I'm when doing... I'm playing the next day. I'm like, yeah. what is the next show? And I, I don't know what it is. I'm doing um, four episodes of this a week, no, man. Yeah, I'm I got super you. busy. Yeah. No, I'm glad you could take the time. <laughs> yeah, man. I love it. Um, now, what did you listen to growing up? Okay, so like, um, my dad would always play like Van Halen and stuff. That's his favorite band, Van Halen, yeah. Yeah. of all time. Um, he would always put on like Van Halen. We always had like '80s rock in the background, so we had like White Snake, you know, we had like Def Leppard and, and all that going on. Yeah. So I was kind of like second nature to me to just like you know always hear that. Um, and growing up, like, kind of, I was with my mom a lot, so we listened to. She would listen to like the pop station, and yeah. I would, really wasn't into that, so yeah. I really didn't like you know, understand what music, good music was, because I was always, like, listening to that in the car, and I didn't really have an iPod or anything. I had, yeah. like, you know, what I had, really, yeah. for whatever, like, 2006 or whatever it was. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and so I was just, I never really paid attention to it until I can remember this, though. I was, I was sitting in um, a movie theater with my grandma one time, and it was, I don't know, it must have been, like, six or seven or something like that. Yeah. And this music video came on, as like a preview to the to the movie and i'm like i, I remember specifically asking her i'm like nana uh, we're, we're italian so i call her nana <laughs> um yeah <laughs> i was like nana why why do people like music and it just, i just didn't get it yeah. and she was like you'll understand when you're older <laughs> and there we go you obviously, um, got, obviously it. <laughs> got, I got it yeah no no but i just i remember that and i was like you know what like it got me thinking and uh but anyway so you, later down the line um, I think what really inspired me was a my dad yeah. and what I used to consume through like media. Mm -hmm. So like I was big into video games back then, yeah. big into movies. I still am, uh, but that's where it kind of like showed me different yeah. styles of music. Yeah. I remember when Iron Man came out. <laughs> oh my God, that had the best soundtrack, dude. It really did. First thing you hear, Back in Black, ACDC. I'm oh. like. There we go. That was the child. That was the, that was the moment right there. I knew. Yeah. No, um, but yeah, it had that in there, and then it had Black Sabbath by uh, or Iron Man by Black Sabbath, yeah. and I was like, these songs are great. So it kind of like sparked me to like get into those bands more. So yeah. growing up, it was ACDC, Black Sabbath, Zeppelin. Yeah. You know, then I was like, you know, thirteen, fourteen. It's all mm -hmm. I listened to. Yeah. Um, Guitar Hero. I used to be. <laughs> huge into guitar hero oh my god i love red I, green blue red green. yeah yeah red green blue no i love guitar hero I, every single day i'd come home from school play guitar hero for like a couple hours and that dude was it was it. meant to be man. it was no it was it was what it was too and i think surprisingly it just kind of like synced your coordination up yeah. a little bit more yeah. so when i went to guitar after that it was kind of like a lot easier yeah. because my hands were already coordinated with each other yeah. so i kind of just like didn't have to like struggle yeah. as much as I, I guess like other people may have yeah. if they didn't play guitar hero play guitar hero and you'd be better <laughs> at guitar <Yeah. laughs> it does it sinks your hands up and that's that's my entire childhood was that and then like in the the high school era i listened to like i branched out a little bit yeah. it would still be like the same four bands that i've always been listening to yeah um but i branched out into like different stuff you know like they had yeah, but at that time it was like what twenty like thirteen or fourteen something yeah. like that, um, and I was like fifteen, ish. Ish. And I was listening, yeah. <laughs> and all my friends, I remember they were listening to like the to like the you know, modern day metal stuff. So yeah. like you had like your Avenged Sevenfold, you had your back Black Bill Brides, you had you know Sleeping with Sirens, all that stuff. Yeah. I I remember my friends were listening to them. I'm like. Bands suck, you know. I'm like, yeah, like these, they're, they're not Zeppelin, you know. Right. They're not ACDC, That's you know. Right. Um, but I just didn't get it at that time. Um, I do now. I like those bands now. I, but I just hadn't got into them at that point. But at that point, 
I was listening to like symphonic metal a lot. Yeah. It was really weird. Like I wasn't listening to bands that were that no anyone in my high school knew. Yeah. I was listening to like Nightwish. <laughs> I was listening to like Delane, you know, all that stuff in like 2000 and like 15. It was crazy and like yeah. I couldn't talk to anyone about it cuz no one was, li- was listening to it. Yeah. But anyway, those were like the the hidden bands that I would always like kind of secretly listen to. Yeah. And then when I got to college, I understood Avenged Sevenfold more because my friend really was into them and yeah. he kind of got me into them and I was like, oh man, these guys are actually pretty good. Yeah. So all that, you know, metalcore stuff kind of came out of like college days mm-hmm. and then now we're here. So kind of a combination of all of those years of, of random metal and rock that yeah. I kind of fall into. So. Oh yeah. You're a rocker, man. Yeah. And I think I was going through your... I was stalking your profile a little bit. Oh, yeah. No, I got to try to do homework. Yeah. You used to have, like, a regular haircut before, oh, yeah. I was before the Roy Costin look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, before, <laughs> yeah. Surprisingly. I know. The first time I met Roy, I swear, I, he walks through the door of we were playing at 233. Now, he's That's a legend. The, yeah. He, that man. Yeah. He's a hometown legend, really. He is a hometown legend. But, um, yeah, so the first time I met him, I'm like, like, I'm like, oh my god, I look just like this guy. Or rather, this guy looks just like me. I'm like, oh, yeah, because I never, I never... He looks you know, like he you. Looks, oh, no, no, Don't no, you no. let him tell you any different. I'm like, oh, man. I, no, it was really funny. You put us side by side, and it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah. we look just identical. And I, I wasn't trying to be. I just, that's how I looked. But you were a prim and proper kid. You had a yeah, yeah, haircut. I did. I had a regular haircut. I, know, I didn't wear all black. What um, prompted this, man? Um... Just a rocker lifestyle? I've always kind of wanted to dress <laughs> like this, and my parents wouldn't let me, you okay, know? Yeah, and gotcha. They were like, they were. I'm like, I'm wearing all black, and I was like 15. And they're like, no, you're not. You got to wear, like, something decent. I'm like, fine, whatever. So I used to wear, like, what I could. I wore band shirts. Yeah. They let me wear band shirts. Yeah. So I wore band shirts, and I had, like, blue jeans and my Converse on, you know? Because <laughs> I was like, that's rock star. That I'm like, that's star. good enough for me. And I, you know, did what I could, and... They'd always make me cut my hair, and I was like, whatever. So they got, I got to college, and I'm like, I'm growing it out, yep. you know. I'm in college yeah, now. Yeah, I'm college now. <laughs> Damn it, no. But, my haircuts are limited. Yeah. No, I just, I let it grow out. They let me grow it out, and yeah. just like, I, I love it, you know. Yeah. I just kind of kept it, and uh, kind of would like it to be a little more crazier than it is, but, yeah. you know, the 80s are done, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. so, so, you know, I'm not going to get the There's a lot of people saying about that. Spray. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of rockers that have been on my show, like, 80s. I was like, yeah, it's 2023. Yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, <laughs> the only band that can pull it off is Steel Panther, and you're not them. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's just like, yeah, well. Don't sell yourself short, brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 80s come back. We'll create more bands, yeah. you know. Let's talk about your bandmates. Yeah. What do you think of Mags? Maggie, Very she's good amazing. Friend of mine. She's great. I mean, you guys are all friends. She of mine. was. I, you I want to tell you something right now. She yeah. was. We were at practice, right? And you know how she does all the rock singing and nice. all that. Yeah. And and I'm like, yeah, that's good and everything. We're playing whatever. And I we're, we're sitting. I remember Elliot and I were sitting in the uh, like the room to like make the set list or whatever, and we're just doing that. And Maggie's sitting out there with her acoustic. She brought her acoustic one day. Yep. And she was sitting there and she was playing. And not many things catch my attention. So when I was just sitting there, just like going over the set list, she starts singing and playing. And I'm like, I thought it was like a track that like Steve had put on. Yeah. And I'm like, wait a minute. I get up and I look and it's Maggie. And I'm like, I had never heard her like that before. And she I'm jamming? like, no, she was yeah. just <laughs> was strong. quietly okay. acoustically yeah. playing. Yeah. And I'm like, that's, it was like so beautiful. She's... And I'm like, wow. It was like, I got blown away by that. I was like, I'd never heard her like that before. I'd always heard the heavy rock stuff. And, and I was just like, that's, that's, I feel like maybe more Maggie. But it was just, it was perfect. She's and I'm a like, phenomenal wow. talent. She's a banana, honored yes. to know her. I'm honored to be her friend. She's beautiful inside and out. Ready to go, Maggie. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, Elliot Clark. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. I got okay. another 10 minutes to talk about Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it's a whole segment here. <laughs> He is probably the Do not star. try to duplicate him. Just follow no, him yeah, around. Yeah, you follow him around. No, <laughs> he's the star of the show. He really is. I he mean, is. he's got more energy than all of us. Yeah. He's got more, I want to say, star power than all of us. I mean, he really is. He's he's kind of like 
you go to the show you to see Maggie and Elliot, and that's really about it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's not true. No, okay. no, for me it is. I go just yeah. to see them. Yeah. You know, I'm there to see all of you guys. Well, you I all bring it, it equally. What's Elliot like in rehearsal? Is he? He's the same. He's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, he's a little more uh, um, toned down a little yeah. bit, yeah. but uh, he's still got the same energy. Yeah. He's still got the same like, let's go through it. You know, he's he's more into it with like trying to get it all right and everything yeah. and he just plays and he does and yeah pretty pretty much the same hell yeah jim what about jim yeah he's definitely the same <laughs> yeah, he's, he's always in the corner doing whatever he's doing <laughs> I playing, know, he's always like walking this. around the place you know yeah. <laughs> but yeah you know, it's good he just yeah. we're all trying to figure out what we're doing yeah. and we just have a good time with it now is zach back full time or is he zach, okay so yeah so the thing with zach is he's back and uh he can do like um, he usually has to leave around like nine. Yeah. So whenever we have shows that are from like seven to like I don't know ten or something like that, he can stay for like half a set. Yeah. And then he's gotta leave. Okay. But for some sets, he can stay the whole time because at like Verona, he's staying the whole time because he took the day off Good. because of his job, I think. Yeah. So it's just kind of hit or miss, you know, what show you're gonna see him at. But if it's anything from like nine p.m. on. Yeah. It's just going to be me. Yeah. So. Nothing wrong with that, man. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zach's phenomenal, though. He's a he's phenomenal great. talent. I he's haven't seen him since he's been yeah. back. That's my fault because I'm doing this. <laughs> Has he been on before, right? Yeah. Yeah, Zach's been on. Okay. Is that um, on again? Yeah. I've so got to have doing, him on again. Yeah. He's, this isn't for him. He gets real shy. Oh. Uh, so. <laughs> I mean. Camera shy, yeah. yeah I, no. I mean, it's, it's not for everybody. It, is, it isn't. Yeah, no. so. It's tough. Uh, let's talk yeah. about the king. Steve Seelman. My dude. <laughs> the guy who, you know, got me into it. Same with uh, Roy and everything. Yep. And they, like, kind of, they're the backbone. You know, I mean, Steve is the backbone of 169. He really is. Steve you know? is one of my best friends. Yeah. Uh, I love that dude. <laughs> I really do. Yeah, I mean, how can you not? Yeah. He's a great guy. He's super nice. He's, like, he always makes sure that everything is, is set, ready to go. You know, he gets the, the practice. He's always there. I mean, obviously, it's just a shop. <laughs> but what shop. I meant to say is he gets to um, he gets to the gigs like yeah. three hours early. Yeah. Sets up the drums and we're ready to go. Yeah. Like he got everything. He's got everything. He's the sound guy. He's everything, man. So yeah. he runs the show really. Yeah, I know he does. We, we pay attention <laughs> to him, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How was he at rehearsal? You guys got to do this, you guys. Or you guys are pretty much on it anyway. Aren't yeah, you? I mean, pretty pretty chill at rehearsal. Yeah. I mean, we, we're just like, let's try this song. If it works, it works. Yeah. You know, we if we really want to do it, we'll practice it more. You know, yeah. and, and some songs work, some songs don't. We're just not feeling some of them, and yeah. other ones we're just like, yeah, that was great. Sometimes we'll run through it once and it's perfect, yeah. and we're like, we're going with it. It's good for the next show, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's what it is. Your rolodex of songs is always changing. Oh like, yeah, I love it. Yeah. You guys are just... We try to go. fit most of the eras in. So, like, yeah. 70s, 80s, 90s, yeah. 2000s. We kind of try to cram, you know, all that in. Because we'll keep it kind of, like, our same rock vibe. Yep. We won't try to, like, go above a song or below a song. You know, we try to keep it uh, the same sound, yeah. you know. So, we'll play songs that are relevant. Like, we do X's and O's, okay. you know. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, that's not really rock but we kind of make it rock a little bit you know and we do stuff and that's fairly recent that's like what 2018 something yeah. like that so sometimes you gotta slow it down a little bit you know? yeah we slow it down we keep some slow songs in yeah. there i would like to do you know faster stuff I but you know you. i mean I more like, it is what it you're is. a rocker yeah brother. yeah yeah <laughs> um and so you know and i'm like trying to push for something like more sabbath i'm like hey can we uh, can we put this sabbath song in there and yeah. they'll be like they'll be like okay yeah we can try it and that's when like paranoid and we got NIV. I love know, the basically. skits that you and Elliot do. Oh, yeah, and he yeah. As you do in the guitar, you're like, no, yeah. no, no, not that one. Yeah. No, 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 not that one. And then you, and the we, third we, one. We you... play around with it sometimes. <laughs> We're like, sometimes we don't do the skit for time reasons. Yeah. You know, we'll just cut to it. Um, yeah. But yeah, I liked our skits too because yeah. like he's. It's good that you guys make it fun. Yeah, he's good with banter yeah. on stage. Because you get everybody things. laughing when you guys do that. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. Everybody's out having a good time. You guys are a top notch band. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we're just having fun. Yeah, you we're are having, having fun. fun so what was it like uh, like on your first show? You must have been a nervous wreck, right? Um, A little bit. I wasn't a nervous wreck, but yeah. I was kind of like, uh, it was like, it was new. Yeah. And it was, you know, I, I knew um, I'd played live stuff before, but not with a band such as, you know, 169. Yeah. So I knew how like 
I guess at the time I really didn't know how like popular we were, so I was kind of just like maybe not expecting like as many people as there were. Yep. Uh, which was a good surprise. Yeah. But it was at two thirty three, and we played with Roy, yeah. and that was great. Roy's amazing to play with. Yep. He's so fun. Yeah. And um, so yeah, I mean, it wasn't that bad. We were using in ears, and I'm not always the biggest fan of in ears, but I've grown <laughs> to use them and kind of like them over the years. So. Yeah or over the time of using them, so they're okay, yeah. but it's just kind of, it was a new realm, but it was like, a, it was like I could get into it, yeah. you know, so well, I wasn't like it. totally nervous, I knew what I was doing, yeah. you know, for the most part, and yeah. kind of just like, alright, let's see what happens, you know, no. <laughs> you know? So it wasn't that bad, but. Yeah. You, you're you getting uh, way comfortable in front of crowds, I mean, yeah, was that hard for you to adjust to? So, I guess... I, I'm getting more, the, the thing is, like, as comfortable as I am with the songs I'm playing, the yeah. more comfortable I get on stage, yeah. because if you don't know what you're playing, yeah. and you have to play a song in front of people, it's like, oh man, this, I don't, <laughs> well, you know, you gotta pay attention to the song you're playing, yeah. and a lot of the times, if you just see me kind of standing there, like, kind of chilling, <laughs> that's just me trying to figure out what to do, because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like, oh, how does this one go? Um, but yeah, no, as some of the songs I know right off the bat, I'm like, okay, I know this one 100%. So I'm going to have more fun with it. You're looser, yeah. because you don't have to focus as much on what you're playing. You already know how to play it. Yeah. Stuff like, you know, Paranoid, yeah. and like, like Hit Me With Your Best Shot, some of that stuff, I don't even have to think about it, because yeah. I already know what I'm doing. Yeah. So that's when I'm moving around, and I'm, I'm more free. So as this time goes on, they get more comfortable with the songs. Yeah. It's gonna just loosen up for me. I watched you and Elliot. I mean, Elliot does his thing, obviously, and you just walk around and people are, you know, tapping him. Like, oh yeah, giving I'll, you the cool dogs. Walking and... around is so much fun. The best thing is like the wireless systems. Yeah. You know, you get to go out and do whatever you yeah. want. Jim goes. He's yeah. walking. He's in the bathroom. Yeah. You know, he's getting a drink. You know, he's 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 always around. You know, he's you know walking around people. People are like with their drinks. They're like, what the hell? He's walking right behind people, yeah. and he just. Run around the whole bar and he's the commander. Yeah, he just comes back on stage and we're we're like, where'd Jim go? And he's yeah. like, I don't know. And he's back on there in no time. And yeah. Elliot goes around jumping on tables and whatever. And yeah. and you know they'll occasionally hit their head on the ceiling. It's kind of <laughs> funny. Yeah. Elliot's but, bled before. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> just to let you know, I don't yeah. know if you know that. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's been wounded. No, he's there. It's part of the show. You know, he goes and if we don't get you know, kicked out for it, you'll do it, you know, <laughs> so. He's almost whacked me with that damn bass, and we're just swinging it yeah, around. Yeah, swinging it like, around Jesus, everything. Elliot. Yeah. <laughs> I know oh, I you, man. <laughs> well, a I showman. He's a showman. He is a showman. I mean, uh, Frogs is my favorite place to see you guys. Frogs is yeah. one of my favorite places. Yes. The crowd is always yeah. fantastic at yes. Frogs. They really are. We kick in at least 60, 70 people a night. It's crazy. Like, yeah. filling that place. Yep. It's just every time you go in there, around like 9 o'clock full. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I've never played like packed bars like that before. So I was like, it's just a nice thing. And when everyone's singing along to your songs, yeah. it's not our songs, but the songs we play, you know. <laughs> it's just, it's great, you know. And so, yeah. yeah, it's just a good feeling when everyone's singing along, having a good time, you know. And yeah. you're playing some riffs and people go nuts for like Sweet Child of Mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you play that and people oh, yeah. are like... They're drunk at 11 o'clock. It's like, oh, my God, you know. <laughs> I think Sweet Child could be a country song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it could how be. easy. Yeah. <laughs> it fits into so many genres. Yeah. yeah. Did, uh, you, know, you had rehearsal last night, right? Wednesdays? Um, we have it on Tuesdays oh, now Tuesdays. because okay. uh, Zach. So, okay. yeah. so we do it on Tuesday. Did um, you tell the band you were coming? <laughs> uh, yeah, I had um, I think I got the Joan Rubrick interview, so yeah. that's good. Hell yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we got... That's about it. We practice every week on Tuesday, okay. and then sometimes, and this is kind of a shock to me, is how many shows we do. Oh, yeah, you we guys We do packed. so many shows, because it's like, we have our, our list and our, our booked shows for the year, and then we'll get random calls, like mm -hmm. for, for mm -hmm. bands that cancel on shows or whatever, they'll call Steve, and then he'll call us and be like, hey, can you do it? The today or can you do it next week or can you do it on this day yeah. and sometimes we've had to like go straight on that day off of beat and we're like hey can you be there at 6 p.m and i'm like 
<laughs> sure, I guess. Yeah, you know, it's like, and it's like, it's right off the thing. So you never know when the weekend, it's like, yep. I never know what I'm doing on my weekends now because it could be playing another show, you never yeah. know, you know, so. Yeah. But I'm not complaining because no, it's complain. more, more shows, exposure. more exposure, more shows, and it's, you know, I'm not going to say no, too, yeah, I'm not gonna say no <laughs> to a paid show, you know what I'm saying, so. I mean, yeah. you're doing this for free. Yeah, yeah, uh, kind of. Sort of I gave you a chillin' koozie. That's like worth four cents. Wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> These things right here. This is what you want. You get a These bottle of cool. water too, man. I know. I You've been paid, it. man. Yeah. And you're chilling with me, and I always appreciate yeah. that. Anybody who sits in, well, we're, we're supposed to be out there, but anybody who sits in a chair with me, God bless them first off. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and they have to listen to my annoying laugh. But, you know, I'm appreciative for anybody that comes do my show. I'm appreciative that you let me, you know, come in on oh, the show. Not, thank brother. you so much. You're yeah. a phenomenal talent. Thank you. I always have phenomenal that. talent on my show. I try. <laughs> <laughs> you're blushing, Kyle. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, when you're at home, uh, do you just pick up the car and guitar and just start strumming and keeping practice or yeah i mean well see here's the thing i mean you guitar players usually can't leave them alone yeah yeah <laughs> and, and the thing is like that was me like all the time is i used to just i used to be bored doing nothing i'd pick mm -hmm. up the guitar and it kind of you know whenever i was whatever mood i was in i would just play and then i just you know kind of feel better for a little bit but recently it's just been so i've been so busy with everything yeah. that you just kind of yeah, it just becomes so, like, yeah, I'll play guitar when I play, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because it's, like, not every day. I always have guitars lying around, so yeah. if I feel like playing, I will, you yeah. know? But some of the times, it's just, like, it's not even on my mind, and it's just, like, you come home from work, and then you, you, you get tired, so you, then you go to bed, and then you wake up, and it's, like, I do it all over again, yeah. and then you got no real time to do any of that, and then you're relaxing, you kind of have to wind down, and then it's practice and then yeah. it's shows yes. and then it's what are you gonna do on saturday and then it's because or whatever the day i don't have the show on you know <laughs> it might be another show i don't know so it's like i either playing guitar too much or i'm not playing at all it's like yeah. and then it becomes a thing where it's like you know like it becomes more of a job than a hobby and it yeah. kind of it hits you sometimes where you're like man i just want to like leave it alone for a little bit mm -hmm. <laughs> Which kind of saddens me because I never wanted it. It was never like that. Yeah. It was kind of like, you know, I played a, to, because I wanted to. Yeah. You know, and now it's you're playing because you have to kind yeah. of. Yeah. But also, I mean, I still want to play. Yeah. You know, I still like I still love playing. I go out there and I play uh, songs and, and I get to do my solos and everything and be free and experiment with whatever I want to do. And, yeah. you know, I kind of like that. And then the crowds are always fun. Yeah. They're always cheering and everything. And I'm like... This is good. This is, yeah, good. This is good. Yeah. <laughs> now, tomorrow's going to be a big one. Oh, yeah. 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 It's going to be a lot of people, man. Yeah, I never played for one of field days before. I'm excited. Yeah. It's the first one. It's probably air before it's out, but... Oh, yeah. This it was one. amazing. It was great. I can't <laughs> believe it. So many people there. We didn't get rained out at all. It was great. You know? <laughs> You'll be under tents, man. You're good. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let it rain all at once. You guys are good. Yeah, I don't care. I'll play yeah. in the rain. That's right. <laughs> We play in the rain, man. <laughs> you got any fun stories to tell me, Kyle? Um, what do you want to know? I just want to know any story. I like any to have story. one story. Oh, man. I mean. <laughs> Pick out anyone you think is funny or you can't believe it happened. or I always like to end on a story. It's going to be a couple minutes of me thinking. <laughs> we'll keep talking. I, uh... <laughs> I don't know. I want to say, like, the funny stories, um, it's just it's a good story about how I met the band, really. Yeah. That's about yeah, it. I mean, that's the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. That really was. And and this whole thing's a story. Yeah. You know, at it the, is. At, you know, it is. That's why I love my show. Years down the line, it'll be, that's the whole story yeah. I get to tell. And I guess, you know, I, I could bring up so many things about, like, what happened at this show, what happened at that show, you know, Elliot jumped on a table and hit his head or, or I, you know, I dropped the pick and I had to, you know, figure something out yeah. or I stepped on a cable one time and it came out of the pedal and I'm like, oh, I got to plug it back in real quick. And Ask it's like, Roy about me uh, introducing him on stage and I stepped on the cord and uh, <laughs> yeah. I was talking to nobody. People have stepped on cords before and unplugged <laughs> me and I'm just like, come on, man. Like, you have so many, you know, aside from the technical difficulties, uh, yeah. 
I got no like crazy crazy stories yet. There was this one lady one time, um, who came on stage with a tambourine mm -hmm. at one of our other shows a long time ago, um, when I was with Shane. Yeah. You know. Yep. We should talk about that, but you can? all right. Well, <laughs> I guess because because I don't think I would I would really be you know out here without that much experience without. I'm glad I had Shane um, to give me more experience and more stage. Shane Archer Reed. Yeah, Shane Archer Reed. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Shane Archer Reed. He's you great. say Shane, that's a no, legend. Yeah, can be anyone. He's no, a legend. He is. He is. <laughs> um, that was that was kind of the beginning because I was right out of. What um, college? Okay. I was still in college, barely, yeah. right at the ass end of it. Yeah. And it was, um, I met him at Big Apple Music of all places, mm -hmm. best place in the world. Okay. Yep. Big Apple Music. The owner's gonna do my show. Oh yeah. Mark Volo Senior. Oh, God, you love him. He's yeah. so good. He's yep. great. Mark is amazing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I go there. That's my local place. I if, if I'm doing nothing, you can catch me there on like a Saturday. <laughs> I'm, I'm always there. I'm always at Big Apple. And music. Mark knows who you are. He huh? knows who I am. He comes in. It's like it's the guy who plays all the guitars, never buys anything. <laughs> like, I do. I go there. I uh, I buy like maybe strings, and that's yeah. it. And I feel yeah. so bad because it's like, man, I just I did buy my amp there though. There you go. I did buy my amp. That was the one thing I bought there. Not one thing. I bought I bought a couple things by there before, but that I found my amp there, and it was kind of like the the. The dirty chalice in the back, you know, from Indiana Jones. You know, yeah, which yeah, one yeah. is it? Which one am I gonna buy? You know, it's like you could buy the luxury amp. No, I'm gonna buy this beaten up, used, you know, piece of shit that some guy brought in, and it was like three hundred dollars. And I'm like, I'm buying it, I'm using it. It's a head and cab, and I plug into it, and I've just loved how it sounded, and I'm like, I'm going with that, because yeah. it had that like, I don't know if you can hear it live, but it's got that like depth. It's got like a like a chorus button on it yeah. or it's a, a knob yeah and it's not like a traditional chorus yeah. it's it like depthens it and it kind of like widens it and it sounds so i get i said to it like the room sound yeah. you know and it kind of like widens it up and i don't know if it's apparent but when you turn it down it is because you, you don't when you turn that off you can hear it's just a, like a normal amp you plug in it's just straight dry but you add that little bit of like you know reverb and chorus in there and it kind of widens it a little bit and it sounds, it just sounds, reminds me of the 80s. So I'm just like, that's how I'm going with it. Yes. So, sounds good. But anyway, back on the Shane topic. Yeah, enough about gear. You're the star, man. I could talk gear for hours. Don't get me started on gear. But anyway, um, so yeah, he called me up one day. It was like, hey, you want to do a show? And just like Steve, that was it. <laughs> you know, you get right on there. Um, so we played a couple of shows. I was with Shane for, I think, a year and a half two years something yeah. like that and uh we were all over the place we did a tour yeah. we went to um ten or the hell were we nashville nashville went to nashville that was cool cool we went to sweetwater yeah, we went to go. sweetwater <laughs> on our trip there went to indiana that place is amazing you ever gone to sweetwater i have not it is so cool they got a huge <laughs> slide in there oh. you can slide down it and then it's like a hallway of just gear and wow. music rooms full of gear and i'm just like is my 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 oasis you know mine's like my blown shrine. yeah my it was, it was crazy <laughs> and everyone there is so nice but anyway so we went there and uh went to a couple other places and that was a lot of fun i yeah. had a lot of fun doing that um and uh i i guess the the reason you know i had i had to leave shane's band and I like playing his songs. I really do. I, I like his songs. His music is great. Yeah. And I like playing his stuff, and we had a lot of fun, but I just, the timing for, like, I was with Shane and then 169 at the same time oh, okay. for, like, a little bit. Like, I was That's a I lot. was pulling double yeah. for, like, I think a couple months, maybe a month, yeah. and I was just like, I can't do it anymore. Because, yeah. like, I was like, all our shows are booked for 169, and Shane shows, I mean, he doesn't really have stuff booked in advance. It's kind of just, like, He'll get a show yeah. when when he gets a show, or, or he'll call a place and we'll get a show. So it's kind of like I had all this I had to you know go for, and then I couldn't do two things at once. Yeah. So if I had one on that day, I couldn't do it. So I had to like go with one six nine because I mean it's just all that was set up already, yeah. and I had so much material I had to learn. I had to learn like thirty songs for like 
in the span of like a couple of weeks when we were starting out, it was yeah. like, can you do a whole set in like a week? And I'm like, mm. yeah, well, give me the list. What you got? And he was like, <laughs> he's handing me this list and it's a packet. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, I had to learn all these songs. Yeah. It's just like, man. So, so life I, of a rock yeah, star, man. Yeah. And it was that. And then at the same time, we were learning more stuff with Shane. So I was like, man, I can't, I can't do all of this. You know, yeah. I'm like, it was way too much to learn. I was messing up stuff. I'm like, I'm not going to. Yeah. So, so I had to, you know, put my priorities and, there and not to say that it's not fun playing with Shane you know I, I love playing with Shane but I just had to I had to give it up I get it man. One, six, nine, you're being but, pulled in 19 different well it's directions. not bad I mean I think you know 169 and I'm not gonna lie it's a I think it's a nicer environment for me yeah. just personally yeah. because we get to play more like old school rock stuff and that's yeah. where I'm at and like with Shane we play more of like modern stuff we play more like you know like that punk stuff yeah. And I'm like, yeah, it's cool, but my... Well, God mind... damn it, he's trying. Yeah, all right, <laughs> good one. Yeah. Um, I love Shane. Yeah, he's, cool he's great. Uh, but I think just the, the old school rock stuff is more me, and I think yeah. we, we do more of that in this band. So. Well, you had to make that decision, you know, what's what fits you better. And yeah. obviously 169 does. I'm sure Shane gets that. You guys are still good, right? Yeah, we're still good. Yeah, you came, you came to uh, Catstock. We were at yeah, Catstock. I was too. I love that place. Did I see you there? Yeah, I saw you. I thought, yeah. 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 Anyway, um, so uh, he was there. They did great. I think. Yeah. I think he sounded pretty good. I got there when he was on stage. Yeah. He's and, phenomenal. And we're we're still good. We're still good with the band, you know. So yeah. no hard feelings there. Yeah. It's all good. He was kind of your practice route to where you are now. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> you can look at it like that, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, dude, this was great to get to know you, man. Thank you so much. You're a phenomenal yeah. talent. I'm a big fan of you. Yeah, I'm a fan of the show. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving you guys a platform. That's all I'm doing. I'm nothing special. I appreciate what you do, Rick. It's amazing. <laughs> well, I Thank appreciate you so that, much. man. It was good yeah. uh, chilling with you, brother. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, 169. I miss you guys. I'll see you soon. Steve, message me. <laughs> <laughs>